Hi, this is JT Walters, Indian River County Fluid Artist. I am about to do a pour. I have um, this purple on, and I will be able to tell you what this color purple is in a minute. Um, I'm just grabbing my glove and my pitcher. This is a pitcher pour. Um, you get these at the dollar store. I'll show it to you in a second. I'm just sitting down. Hold on. Um, the name of this paint, which I'm not crazy about it, is Metallic Violet, which normally I like metallic colors. So it's really an oddity that you would hear me say. I'm not crazy about this. I guess because I like the dioxazine purple so much better, and I really do. Um, dioxazine purple to me is so much prettier. But I'm gonna stop doing my sides, Never mind. Um, this doesn't run into a big long event for you. So anyways, I put all these colors and I picked out two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I picked out 20 colors and I'm just gonna sit here and just pour them like right in the center of my canvas and just let them all pour out. And I just really wanted to do, I'm working on another science fiction novel. I'm working on another painting. I really wanted to do something that was reflective of what I was writing. I don't know that I like it as much if I put my hand, if I spiral it, as much as I like it as if I do this pour straight out. Like when I was moving it like that, it was mixing the colors as it went. And I didn't like that. I don't like mixing the colors as I go. So I'm trying to pour this out. And basically, I don't know if you've read Stephen Hawkins book, probably um, Black Holes and Baby Universes. It was written in the 90s. And it was really like the definitive work at the time. And it's basically when Hawkins said, black holes really aren't black, they're purple. And so I said, ooh, that's a good reason to get all my purples out and um, add them into my painting and put them in here. And uh, See how this turns out. So my flow trail is a little clumpy in here, which I should have strained it, but I didn't. It's really old. I haven't been doing fluid paintings in a long, long, long time. And so um, I recently had surgery and I get my leg fixed. And so I'm kind of out of commission, so yeah, you catch that last little bit. Okay, so it's a little off center. I can live with that. So then I went and I got, this is a dioxazine purple that I love. I mean, love, love, love the dioxazine purple. Now I can tell you, I can shift this around a bit and just move it so it goes a little bit in that direction. And I really don't want to get it too, too far off of uh, center because then you got to bring it back. But you can push it a little bit. So let me put this back down here. Wipe, because you always get a little bit extra. Put a little bit in there, because right here, I think that needs to push out a little bit. I don't know how I'm going to push that piece out. Okay, so anyways, I've got my dioxazine purple, which is right in here. I'm not going to use a whole lot of that. And then I'm gonna put uh, 
this is coconut oil. This is the best stuff I've found to make cells. I'm hoping my video recording is going. And see, the cells are already popping up. So this is like good news for us. So it's, you know, it's always a good day to be creative. And anybody can do these paintings. I, I challenge everybody to try because everybody can do these paintings. Okay, and so the whole idea is to make the multiverse Oh, the dioxazine is much thicker. So the multiverse is uh, much darker. Actually, I wanted this to be a wormhole. But that one piece just does not want to go. It's just fighting it and fighting it. So you just bring them around. And I have to say, uh, for a painting activity, it's compared to some of the more difficult pieces I do, it's very soothing. I can open that back up and re expand. Now I'm not quite done with this because there's more to do. But it's time to torch to see what we have. I am unhappy with this not moving. You know, I wonder if I can help it along a bit. Not messing it up too bad. Which is always something that can happen to you is you over muddle. So let me see if I can get that to go out a little bit. I mean, I watch so many people do these paintings and I'm like, oh man, that painting is so awesome. And then they muddle and I'm like, oh my gosh, they just destroyed their painting. And I'm certain that they're happy with it. So as long as the artist is happy with it, I mean, who's to say, right? I mean, it's really, the artist has to be happy first but I'm guilty of it too. I mean, I can over muddle. And so these are non-toxic paints. Only when you get into like cadmium and cobalt and a lot of the other, it's basically cadmium and cobalt, anything that's toxic, you have to worry. So get your torch out and you light it up. And you see what you get for sale. The cells will come up naturally anyways. And I can expand this a lot more too. Let's see if I can get more towards the center. But somebody um, suggested that I teach these classes and I was like, eh, I don't know. But it really is a very, um, it's a very relaxing activity. It's really not stressful. See that, see how thick that dioxazine is? It's not gonna, there's not gonna be anything coming up from there. Even though we have the, uh, the metallic purple underneath, it's not gonna come up with the dioxazine. The dioxazine is just too thick. So, turn it off. Oop, I'll just turn it on higher. And tilt a bit more. See if I can get anything else out of this painting before I completely mess it up. Because that does happen. I think I'll stop there, even though my circle is not perfect. 
And then I just wanted to go in and um, as anybody knows, or as everybody knows, in black holes, you have stars. So I just want to go in and put little, I can't even do little dobs of stuff. I can't even do little dobs of stars. I may have to wait until this dries to go back and put the stars on. Yeah, I mean, it's almost impossible. It's too, it's too wet right now. So I'm going to have to wait until it dries up. So anyways, this is JT Walters. This is Indian River County Fluid Artist. Um, we did not do a black hole. We did a purple hole today. Um, I hope you did not see me because I am about at my worst today. Um, but I just wanted to do something very peaceful, very relaxing, and something that I thought you would enjoy. When it dries, I may put pictures up of it. Um, I think it's pretty, and I think it will suit my purposes later. I'll be able to dab something on the, that purple. I'm pretty confident I'm going to get it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'm now going to get up. It's going to take me a second because I have that bad leg. And, uh, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Okay, got it. Woo! Bad leg away. Thanks for watching. I'll show you later.